and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. So we're going to do this Pagani Hoyara today, but I want to show you guys something real quick. This is the FMW Panther, the performance, yeah, FMW Panther Mark II performance that I picked up last time. I decided to go ahead and finish it knock it out because it's it's pretty routine as far as cars go except that it has a supercharged V8 in it and this thing is an absolute monster especially with performance supercharger and stuff in it it uh, it hit something like what was it 1182 horsepower on the dyno which was more than a hundred percent of factory power <laughs> And it is essentially undrivable. Uh, I put race tires on it because I feel I, f it, I put race tires on it because I feel silly putting slick tires on what's supposed to be a street car. But this thing has far too much power t to uh, for any normal person to drive re as a regular car. And but it's cool. I mean, it, it's 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 a decent looking little car, and it sells for 150 something. Yeah, 155 grand. So those are worth doing if you like them. They're worth doing. They, you make a decent amount of money on them, and they're terrifying <laughs> to drive. But uh, yeah, so let's get to work on this thing. And this was bought in the same junkyard as the Zonda that we did last time, and it cost. Let's see, it cost twenty grand, and it's actually worth a bit more now than it was when I bought it. So let's see what this does to it. Oh, it must be white as the factory color. That looks pretty good already. And that raised it by $2,000 as far as how much money we could make on it. So that's, that's not terrible. Okay, back to, back to the garage we go. Hmm, so there's no the exhaust is... Yeah, okay.
Never can remember which one of these fans or one of these radiators takes. Okay, and that fuse box. What, uh. Get out of here. What percentage was that at? We can repair that. Didn't fix, didn't get to fix that front clamshell. That's too bad. Didn't I resort these? Thought I did, but maybe not. So we didn't get any of those. So all we have is the rear bumper, front bumper, and the mirror. <laughs> uh, need to get. Need to push the right button. Get our fuel stuff. Go ahead and weld up the body, even though it's a carbon fiber car. I like the way this fuse box stands straight up. It makes it really easy to mark all the parts. Okay, and I need a box lid as well. Okay, so that's all the body stuff done. So we basically need everything but the mirror, the bump and the bumpers. Okay, and that should be uh, 
125 grand. I didn't mean to be on this page, but now we we just jumped from up like 3,700 to 105,000. So body 100%. That's what I wanted to know. Okay, so yeah, the factory color is white. I think that's fine. I wonder if they have any liveries for it. They do. That actually doesn't look terrible. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do that. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Let's, uh. Hmm. I wish that would kind of. I'm not sure what this vent is, because it's cl clearly not like a headlight cover. This looks weird the way that it cuts in under it rather than over it. Hmm, it's a minor thing, I guess. We don't have any back wheels either. There's a front front wheel. Yeah, it's got both of the front wheels but no rear. So much stuff is broken. <laughs> And this rim, too, I bet, is not going to be usable either. Okay, now, let's get that rusty engine core out of there. Oh, that does open. Good. I wasn't sure if it, that would open or not.
That wheel is seven percent, so that's 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 garbage. Okay, so we need four of these. I, I already whacked those because I know they're not repairable. And the bushings. Since there's no front cross member or rear cross member in this car, it's eight bushings for the front and the back each. So 16. All sway B. I knew I knew they weren't sway bar A, but I never can remember whether it's um, front sway bar or just or whether it's just a standard bar or a bar B. all of those done. Let's see what we can just throw away. What am I doing? Click that. Oh shit, what the hell? I am a freaking retard. I'm sorry I said that. I'm just a little frustrated. That was a dumb thing to do. Okay, slick tire, 255, 35, 19, that's going to be for the front. Did I buy yo? Oh shoot. Okay, so that's how to throw money away. Uh, I want 20 inch wheels for the rear. And 
And those are 355 30 20. Okay, so let's see now if we can do this without screwing up any further. Okay, that was good. So this card didn't have much on it that we could uh, reuse anyway. So, like this engine probably doesn't have much on it either. Okay, so let's get rid of the pistons. And this engine, I think, takes 24 spark plugs, if I remember correctly. So we didn't salvage that crankshaft either. I misclicked that. That wasn't what I thought I was aiming at.
Okay, actually looks like an engine now. Yeah, see how it's got two it's got two spark plugs per piston. There are like eight of these camshaft caps, which is a lot less obnoxious than some of the other ones. Oh, I miscounted that. There's five on each side. I just deleted something again that I actually need. There's that one right there. I guess I didn't buy enough. This would be another good one to be able to paint the head covers, I think. Except that I'm pretty sure it's not visible from outside the car. looks like it looks really good
compared to what I remember it looking like before. Yeah, none of that stuff is in that store. And always remember this the water pumps in these engines need two water pump pulleys. Okay, and that's going to be a roller A. Or it might be a belt tensioner, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's a roller. It is. I forgot, should have known. <laughs> Okay. See, that went together. Uh, oh, you know what? <laughs> I was resisting putting these spark plugs in early because there's a monster coil pack that covers them. And it gets in the way of assembly of the rest of the engine, so I was waiting until I was done to actually get put that part on. So you'll see here in a second how big this thing is. Yeah, that thing really can't, that thing really gets in the way. And now we're done. Yeah, I don't know how I don't have that, but... I saw I only have three of those upper suspension arms, so I'm going to need at least one more of those. Okay, I'm gonna. I want to paint the calipers on this one because I think it's gonna look out. I think it's gonna stand out well against the white of the car. I think I'm gonna need another one of these too.
And actually, I think I bought the transmission. I did. Do I have enough? I need another axle. I knew. I remember there was only one. I didn't mark that. I should have marked that axle. Come back here. Okay, so that's looking good. Now I don't think I actually have all... Yeah, I don't have anywhere near everything. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Um, hmm. Okay, so I have one too many of those, but that's fine. Where are we at now? I want to get rid of some of this other stuff. Is that... Either, either I didn't install all of these or I bought one too many. But that's fine. We'll check in a minute. There we go. still have that that in my inventory that's a thousand dollars repairing that mm, maybe I should have gone with a different color it's too late now Look how big that wheel is. Okay, this is going to be good, I think.
Yeah, that shows through nicely. I'm happy about that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Just occurred to me that I need to buy a starter. Always forget the starter. That should do us, though. 99%. Okay, what did I miss? It's got to be that... I bet it's that sway bar. Or that end link. Sway, that sway end link. Yep, there it is. See, it won't, it won't even let you... It won't let you put the wheel on if you haven't applied... If you hadn't installed the tie rods, you know, inner and outer both, it won't, even, it won't let you install the wheel. I think it should do that with the sway rod, the end link too, as well. There, now we're at a hundred percent. Get all the fluids loaded and then we can test it out after we make sure the wheels are all going the same direction. I never can remember. I always have a hard time finding the oil fill cap on this thing. Are you going to... It, it is. Oh, this is going to be a pain. It won't let me take that off. See, 2018 didn't do this. God, that's a pain in the butt. Okay, so all we need now is the brake fluid. Brake fluid, washer fluid, and coolant, and then we're set. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good looking car. I do think I could have gone with a different color on the on the rims though. They would have suited the white better. Maybe a good gunmetal gray would have gone good there. Okay, excellent. Alright, so let's see. I'm not even sure what the factory power on this is. 721. 14, let's see, 2, 4, 4 14. 1442 would be a 100% increase. I don't think we're going to get that. Let's see what happens.
1315, so it didn't quite get to 100%, but that's, that's pretty darn good. All right, I like I like this car moderately better than I like the Zonda. I think it the Zonda looks too much like a caricature of a car and this looks this this is still kind of it still has that kind of swoopy body style, but it looks more like something that you would drive, you know, as a more or less of a regular kind of sports car rather than a race car on the street. I am really impressed with the interiors though in this in in this version. I mean everything looks more tactile. And I love look at the look at the detail on the gear shift. That's really really impressive. I may have to go back to t one of these in 2018 and look at that again cuz I don't remember seeing that level of detail there. But I, but I like you I like that you can tell that it's like leather leather interior or carbon fiber cuz it's got that pebbly texture. That's pretty good. I like it. Okay. So the max the maximum speed we've achieved out here has been what? 271 miles an hour. Let's see what this can do. This is how I stop cars now. So 234 is what we got. That's better than the Zonda was. One of these days, I think I'm going to be able to get over that fence. <laughs> I noticed, too, that you can get up here and look down at it. So I bet I can, I can see the I can see the cover on the intake manifold and the intercooler covers. I don't think I can really see the valve covers from here. This is as close as I can get in the zoom. But... Uh, it might be worth painting those one day just to see if they're visible. But yeah, 234, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And the car was very controllable too, which is important. Okay, so the last thing to do is to find out how much this thing is worth. I don't remember how much the Zonda sold for now. But uh, it was pretty good at some... It was, it was pretty far up there after the body was, work was done. So yeah, 448,000. That's not anything to sneeze at, I think. I am pretty sure that that's more than the Zonda sold for. So yeah, that's I mean that's a that's a nice car to do. It's easy to put together. The engine is nicely the engine is nicely detailed. The interior is really good. I mean I'm really impressed with it. So this is a good car to do uh, if you want to I mean it's a good car to do period and it'll make you a, bun a bunch of money. So yeah, I'm pleased with this car. So you can go away. get over see if we can get over 25 million <laughs> now when I finished the FMW Panther the other day I noticed that I had like I was like within one XP of making it to the next level or something close I was really close I wasn't quite there but I was almost there and I knew I was gonna level up but I forgot to pay attention so I've, I've leveled up to level 30 and that should give us it's got we got six skill points so we're not gonna be able to get both nope so what do we want Cuts to, uh, you know what? I've been, I've been, I haven't been examining much lately, so let's do this. No skill points. Six skill points to get the last, the last uh, thing in the skill tree. 
So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right. That was a good deal. I enjoyed that. That car was fun to put together. Even um, even setting aside my <laughs> my complete mess up back there. I think I actually must have added a barn map to my... Yeah, I did. I added a barn map. I re ah, get out of there. Thank you. I really should just get rid of these. It doesn't work the same way it used to in 2018, where the old parts that I, I mean parts that I took off of something ended up in the inventory above the barn maps, and new parts I bought ended up below it, and I kept a bunch of them as kind of a natural divider between the two, and this is not working that way. So I should probably just go through these and get rid of them all, but that's for another time. So on that, where let me restart. That's going to wrap this one up. Don't know what I'm going to do next time. Maybe we'll go... Well, yeah, I really should get this done before I go to the junkyard again. And I still have that Hellcat, supercharged Hellcat to do. So I, I have stuff lined up. Uh, unless another DLC comes out in the next week or so. But we'll see, I guess. So that will wrap this one up. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you again here the next time for our whatever it is we do here. So on that note, bye for now.